everybody, welcome back to the range on a beautiful day in the UK, which is quite strange, but we'll gloss over that fact. What I want to know is today is I've got a chicken carcass here. Carcass? Wait, well, you know what I mean. It's a chicken. <laughs> Means we're not having chicken for Sunday for our dinner. I want to know how dangerous CO2 BB guns are against flesh, bone, that type of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I've already set it up. It's behind an old work boot that I've shot a few times, but what's over that? I'm just going to lace into it with all the different varieties of BB guns I've got, and we'll just see what happens to it. Right, this is the first gun, so I'm going to move you into a better position so you can actually see, and then I'm going to shoot into it. I might do a point blank with every gun, just to see what effect I get, but uh, right, this is going to be interesting. Right. As you've already know, first gun, we're going to take a few shots at it, but first, safety first. Because if anything did hit a bone and came back and hit me, don't hit in my eyes, not fussed on the rest of us, I'm ugly enough. So, right, first gun, let's crack on. And I'm out. Oh, oh, oh. Right, I'm going to move you in there. Just so you closer, and then you get a better idea of what it's all about. I'm just going to unhook you from there. Pardon me, fingers. Bring you over. You can actually see it's gone through the skin. No idea if it actually has gone through it. I don't really want to friggin' touch it, if I'm honest. I don't think it's gone all the way through. But it has gone quite deep in the chicken. I did try and hit sort of centralized so I can try and hit a bone. But uh, yeah, oh well. So if it's done that to a chicken, which is like flesh, I suppose. I don't know what it'll be like to obviously us. If it like hit us, I don't know what it'll be like. But uh, right, I'm gonna move on to the next one. And I'll get you back on. See you in a bit. Right, next one. You've seen this loads of times before. It's an SNR 357 made by Crossman. Same principle, I'm just going to lace into it. It's a six shot, so I'm just going to use all six. Just pile into it, and we'll see what that does. Right, first shot. One, two, three, four. And I'm out. Yep, that's all six. Ooh. 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 Ah, I touched it. Yeah. That's minging. Right, I'm going to move you over and we're going to have a look. Right, there is some bigger holes in this one, which is strange. It's the same ammunition I'm using but you can see there are some bigger holes in it but well, there's more holes in it now it's funny how that one there looks more like a sorry that one there looks more like an actual cross but never mind oh well I'll move on to something with a bit more power a bit more jewelage to it so oh, set you back up it's absolutely red hot dear right we'll get the next one and I'll put you back on Right, next boom banger. I love this thing so much. It is my, it's made by Euromex. Euromex? I think I've said that right. But it's an MP40. It's the worn down version where everything's all been worn. Everything's fully metal apart from here and here. The rest of it is all metal construction. It weighs quite a lot. So, let's lay this into it and see what this does. This is a more power this is around about seven joules in comparison to let's say three and a half four something thereabouts right we'll see what this does I'm 
We'll have a look at this because uh <laughs> right, let's have a butcher's ha, get it? Butcher's meat, yeah. I'm a daft idiot really. Right. Much bigger holes. I tried to hit more of the central, which I'm always trying to do. And I don't really want to look in the chicken's ass, but there you go. You can actually see if I can get at it some I don't know if you can see it with the camera if it's letting us you can actually see some of the BBs has actually gone through the chicken you can actually see round the side here see how they've gone through it which is quite interesting all in one Whoop, finger finger that's pretty bad oh, put you back. it's a bit bad when you have to do all this yourself I mean should really get a camera, man or woman. Go uh... sing it though. What would airsoft do? So I have an airsoft gun with us, and I'm gonna go get it. Right, airsoft gun in question is this. It's a tri shot shotgun made by ESG, and it uses these, which are imitation shotgun cartridges. It's a 30 round capacity, you already know how to do it, you've seen this before. There's a little lever at the side, push it, opens the breech, load it in, and then it's a pump action, so it's ready to rock. I'll have, we'll have to get closer to this, because it doesn't have the same kind of power, because we're using the shooting at each other. Right, ready? <laughs> it's actually stuck in it. Oh, I knocked it out. <laughs> and again, it's got, a, it's got eyes. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, get a bit closer to it, yes, up it's off, push, yes, in the leg, oh I'm out, hmm, <coughs> that's uh, oh well, I'll show you. It does actually pierce the skin though when you're close, as you can see. See how it's gone into the skin? There's one there which I shot my ass. But yeah, it's quite a. Uh... Ah! Yeah. I think I might lace into it with an air rifle for a bit. Just to get the effect I want, which is a, basically a splat. Right? Get the rifle and get cracked. Rifle in question, you've already seen this before. It's my BMX 2.0 made by Webley. It's a 2 2 rifle. <laughs> mm. See, I can get a bone. We'll try to find out. I will have to stand a bit further back than normal, but let's have a go. I don't even know even where it's... Oh! Ooh. I'm not touching it so you can see it. But uh, from that kind of range, probably about 15 or so yards. You see how it's gone through it? There it is, look. Oh. Sorry, chicken. But, it's basically intact. Hasn't crumpled up what I thought. But, uh, oh, how a cheeky. Right, I'm gonna shoot at, it. <laughs> shoot at it again. But you can see how fat the chicken is and it went near enough straight through it. One more shot, I think. I'm gonna get you a bit closer this time when I do it. 
But uh, uh, crappy camera skills, here we go. Bit shaky. Because I'm moving the tripod, hold on. Right, maybe about there, I think. See if I can get you zoomed in on it. Right, if I keep you there, I haven't gone. I'm just having another stab at it. Not if I had the rifle, wouldn't it? Right. Have you gone all the way through it? No, you haven't. But more interestingly, this is interesting actually. I have noticed a few things on the back. I don't know if you can actually see them. You can actually see from the previous shots. If you look closely, there's like pimples here. See them? And you can feel them. They are them are metal BBs that's in that. Mm. So that means that MP40 has nearly shitty camera skills, I know what, sorry about that. Has actually gone through it a lot further than I thought. And you can actually see and feel the BBs in it. And I was half tempted to actually get somebody to shoot me with it. But I don't think I will now, actually. After seeing that. After after seeing that, I don't think I will. Um, a few more shots with the rifle. Come on, here we go. Rifle, come here, you. Oh, tricky touch on it. I'll have to disinfect my rifle now. Right. I think a close-up one is going to be more the thing. But there. Three, two, one, fire. Right. What is that doing? Empty hole here. Exit hole there. <laughs> um, don't even know where it hit. I think it hit there, maybe. Because you've got chicken goo all over it. That one was from ages ago. It's still welded into it. Um, so if it's there, it must be around here. So there it is. There it is. You see that? It's barely damaged. Right. So what to do with it next, eh? What to do with it? I've got an idea. Who wants kebab? Let's uh, let's set up some kebab meat, right? All right. Next, what I'm thinking is, it's new to the channel. It is a new boar. Wait, I say a new boar. It's quite old, but uh, I'm gonna. I've just got some standard tips on it, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna stand quite way, way back. Shoot at it, basically. Right. Let's see what happens. Oh. Well, I should have really gotten the slow one. <laughs> it's actually, it's, uh, it's gone all the way through it, actually. Are you actually into the boot, though? Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Right, but... Yeah. Yep. Wow. Do you see that? Oh. Pick it up. Do you see that? It's gone through the boot. <laughs> oh, there's chicken goo and everything on it. They're all the... Everything coming out of it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, I can, hmm. Yeah, let's just spin it. Come on, let's get it out. Okay. <laughs> right, that's kind of world in it now. Oh, I'm touching bloody chicken gut. Come on. Come on. I thought the chicken goo might have lubed this out of it. Right, that's that. And that's that. Get the goo and everything all on it, you see. I'll put it in. Hope you aren't eating when you're watching this, by the way. <coughs> oh. Quite a nice uh, entry hole there, as you can see, look. Right. I'm gonna shoot at it a bit more. I don't know what width, but... Oh, that's actually a BB, that's in there. Like a plastic one, not a metal one. Strange. But that was interesting, that. I enjoyed that. These aren't even the sharp tips, either. And they did that. Oh, well, it shows how bad it would be if you actually shot at somebody with a bow. Even with them tips on it. Wow, I would not like to be shot with a bow. Or even a crossbow at that much. A crossbow with that. Would have been far worse, actually. Oh well, never mind. You live and learn. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for this little video. It's not the best, but I just wanted to see how bad it would be. I just wanted to see how bad... <laughs> How bad, <laughs> how bad, again, it would be to shoot like bone, flesh, that type of a deal. Sorry, I'm just in a giggly mood. How bad it would be to shoot like bone, flesh, that type of stuff with CO2 BB guns. And it would go quite far into you. But because our bones and everything might be a bit stronger than chicken, it's quite a hard one to kind of like discuss on really if I'm honest. I don't really want to shoot a human with them to find out. I might get my partner to use some of the airsoft stuff and shoot me with it, see how painful that is. But we'll see if I'm brave enough for it if I'm honest. Right, but don't forget. Ring the bell to stay notified on new content coming out. And don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Why wouldn't you? I'm wearing a different t-shirt today. Same logo, but without the red. Let us know if you want one in the comments down below. And I will deliver it to you. Wait, get it. Post it to you. I'm not just going to walk up on your door and knock on it and go, there you go. But don't forget, like the video. Obviously, if you liked it. <laughs> Share it, please. Because my channel is... My channel is growing every day. I get one or two subs every single day now, which is brilliant news for me. Boost the channel up, get sharing, let everybody know how, one, how stupid I am, <laughs> and two, the new content that comes out. If you think it's mint and you think it's fun, you're either watching it on your toilet, at work, on your break, whatever, it's all good for me. I'm just so glad that you actually like it. And thank you so much for everybody that's subscribed so far. It's mint. Brilliant news for me. It means I can get better, really. If more people comment as well, let us know what you want us to shoot at. That'll be a bonus for me as well. And then it just means I'm doing stuff that use one, which is kind of what I want. I've got all this space, so I might as well use it. If you want us to blow stuff up, I'll try and get some pyrotechnics for you. Uh, but right, that's going to do it for the deer. There is more content coming. While I'm here, while it's nice, I might as well just keep filming. And I'll see you in the next videos. See you later.